Brent Bridget, they say despite Connecticut being a traditionally blue state, they believe the stakes could not be higher this year. Governor Ned Lamont and Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz were joined by Congressman John Larson, Hartford Mayor Runan Arulampalam, and the DNC Chair Jamie Harrison, among others. They discussed the balance of power in Congress, the current state of various races, and what's to come. They hit on policy platforms like public safety investments, Mayor Arulampalam using the capital city's community policing initiatives as an example. They also discussed gun control policies and affordable housing, as well as reproductive rights. As all five of Connecticut's U.S. House representatives are up for re-election this year, there's a focus on highlighting the records of congressional incumbents and the impact of Connecticut's delegation in D.C. Everyone this afternoon saying while the White House is a focus, the rest of the ballot is just as impactful. It's a pretty darn important election. We're all here to urge people vote. Your vote makes a difference. Probably the most important in a long, long time. Get it done, guys. The minimum amount that every state party in this country has received from the DNC this calendar year is $160,000. We are even for the first time making sure that we are organizing and investing in Democrats who live overseas, Democrats abroad. There are millions of Americans who live overseas and they vote in our states. In the midterm elections, part of the reason why we beat back the red wave at the DNC, we put $45 million on the ground in our states. We have a ground operation like none other that we've had in the past, and the Republicans don't have it right now. State houses matter. Um, you know, mayors matter. All of these positions matter, and we got to have the resources to make sure that we can compete and win. Harrison says the DNC increased the amount of money they're sending to state parties by about 25 percent. He also called the party's current efforts a, quote, 50-state strategy on steroids. Now, we're down to almost a month, just 32 days until the November elections. But this year, you can vote even sooner here in Connecticut with early voting. That starts in just 18 days on October 21st. Bridget Brent.